coming down to the yoga mat, so let's begin. Just taking a few moments, connecting down. Surrendering down. If we've been working all week and we've got commitments, we give our energy out to others. So start to draw your focus inward. <coughs> Focusing to yourself. Connecting into your higher intelligence of being in this moment. Letting go of everything else, the future, the past. Just connecting into this moment. Mind, body and breath as one. <coughs> As we connect in, do we start to feel the body surrender perhaps in more areas? Feeling is there balance or is there difference? Backs of heels, hip distance, or a little bit wider. Let the feet drop. Feet are heavy, dropping through to the backs of the heels. And journey up the back of legs, all the way to buttocks. Feel as they're softening through the backs of the legs as they rest down. If you're feeling any pain in the lower back, then this is the time to bend your legs up, taking pressure off the lumbar spine. Feeling through backs of legs, balanced or different. And across the back of hips and pelvis, balanced or different. Curvature of the lower back, lifting away from the mat. And then sliding that bit higher and feel this reconnection, middle back. Middle back to upper back, feel the shoulder blades releasing down. Back of neck long, tuck the chin down. Let the weight of the head release. Down through the arms, turn the palms up. Notice where fingers and thumbs naturally curl into. And just let yourself soften. Feel there's a softening, a quietening, tuning in. Tune your focus to the breath. And start to notice the movement of breaths in and out of the body. Start to really engage into the breaths when you can. Start to lengthen and deepen. <clears throat> slowly at first, we don't rush the breath in. Just building the in the house, slowly adding a little more breath each time you bring it in. The exhales releasing out. The inhale slowing and deepening, coming up through the body, fuller and deeper eventually. Enjoy the feeling of the breaths building through the body. Whilst you work with the breaths, notice the facial muscles, are they relaxed? Notice the tongue in the mouth, if it's hard and pressed against the roof of your mouth, let it drop and relax. Bottom jawline, relax, teeth slightly separated. <coughs> and starting to point the toes with inhalations. And then flex the feet with exhalations. Moving with the breaths, inhale's pointing. 
exhales flexing. Your breathing, keep moving in time with it, slowing and deepening. Can your main focus be the breath and move the feet in time with the breaths, not the other way? Focus on the breath and move the feet in time with your breaths. And the next time you breathe in, point your toes and drop your big toes in to touch together. And as you breathe out, feet roll out. And then breathing in, toes roll in and touch together. And then breathe out, feet roll out. Keep it going, your timing, your breath. Next time your, your toes meet together, keep them together, deeper breath in and keep sipping it all the way up through the body and then hold that breath in for as long as you can. Try to scoop the belly out, tuck the chin down and hold in for as long as possible. And you're not able to hold any longer, sigh the breath out, feet drop out, surrender completely and then breathe in, toes roll in and touch in the opposite direction. Breathe out, rolling out. Twice more round. Last rotation around for you. Bring your toes all the way back in to reconnect. And once they do, keep sipping that breath in again. Slower, deeper, longer, hold in for longer if at all possible. And we sigh the breath out, feet drop out, surrender and let go. Give yourself this moment in time. And then push out through the heels, stretch up the back of legs. Inhale, right leg comes in, reaching for it. Exhale, roll forehead towards your knee. Inhale, lower the head onto the mat. And then squeeze the knee closer to the chest. The shin is starting to resist as if the leg wants to push away. The arms hold it down. And then exhale, arms and leg releasing. Inhale, left leg comes in, reaching for it. And then exhale, roll forehead towards your knee. And then inhale, we lower the head down. And we squeeze the knee onto the chest, shoulders down, ribs down, chin down. The shin is starting to resist, the leg wants to push away, the arms hold it down. And exhale, arms and leg releasing out. Again, inhale, right leg in, reach for it. Exhale, roll forehead to knee, pause, keep breathing, move the knee longer away from you. Keep feeling you're trying to roll to it, trying to pull yourself up. The knee comes to the chest, notice how easily the body just rolls back to the mat. Squeeze the knee down, shoulders down, chin down, ribs down. Press the left heel out long. And then this right leg's pushing up to the ceiling, it wants to go up, hold it down. And exhale, soften arms and legs, release down. Inhale, left leg in, reaching for it. Exhale, roll forehead to knee, keep moving the knee longer, keep breathing. Feel yourself trying to pull yourself up towards this left knee. The knee comes back into the chest, roll the body down as it does. Squeeze it down, shoulders down, chin down, ribs down. 
Right heel pushing out long. Now the left leg wants to push up to the ceiling. Arms resist, hold it down. And then exhale, release, arms and leg out. Again, inhale, right leg in, reach for it. Roll forward to knee, leg moves longer as you keep trying to roll to it. And then again, pause, shins pushing long, feel you're trying to roll back but not. Arms and leg resist each other. Shoulders broadening, chin deeper. Then we roll down, bring the knee to the chest, squeeze it down. Engage everything again as the leg starts to resist, pushing up to the ceiling, hold it down. And then soften, squeeze the knee a bit closer as you soften. Then kick the right leg up to the ceiling, hold around the back of the thigh. Now the leg wants to go down to the yoga mat beside the left one, <coughs> resist it. And then soften, does the leg drop in any closer to you when you soften? And then resist again, the leg wants to go to the mat beside the left one. It's pushing into the clasped hands, resist it. And then soften, as you soften, does the leg come any closer again? And then one more resisting, the leg's pushing away from you. And then soften. Let the leg come in closer to you. So you're going to bend at the knee and try and get the whole front thigh onto the front body. You want to get the leg in as close as you can to your front body. Then keeping from the knee all the way through to the thigh and hip as close to the body as you can. See if you can start to straighten through the back of this right leg without letting the knee or thigh move away from you. Keep breathing into this feeling, lengthening, opening. Feeling where's the stretch coming to for you. And now start to bend the leg and bring the knee wider as if you're doing a half happy baby. Knee coming down wider beside the body, foot flexing to the ceiling, left leg out long. If it's too much, bend the left leg up. And then simply release the right leg out beside the left, legs out long, soften. Let the feet drop away for a moment, surrender completely. Feel the whole body surrender for a moment. And then exhale, push out through the heels. Inhale, left leg in, reach for it. Roll forward to knee, knees moving long, keep breathing. Then resisting, the shins pushing long, arms are trying to pull you back towards the mat. Staying where you are because arms and legs work against each other. <clears throat> Feel the shoulders broaden, spine lengthen, chin tucks. And then roll down, bring the knee to the chest, squeeze it down, engage the body and then start to, shin, to press this left shin up. And then soften, bring the knee closer. <clears throat> and then kick the left leg up straight and hold around the back of the leg as straight as you're comfortable to do. And then the leg's starting to resist. It wants to go down the mat beside the right leg. The arms hold it where it is. And then soften as you soften as the leg come in any closer to you. And then resist again. The leg's trying to push away. It wants to go down to the mat. <clears throat> Hold it where it is. And soften. And then one more. Arms and leg resisting each other. And soften. Let the leg bend a little bit more. You want from the knee through the front thigh down to the hip, touching the front body as close as you can get it. Keeping the knee in, into the chest as close as you can and now try to straighten the leg without letting the thigh move away from the body. So notice what happens for you as you try to straighten up the back of this left leg. And then soften, start to bend the leg, bring the knee down wider, a half happy baby. If it's too intense, bend the right leg up, taking some pressure off if you need. 
this left knee coming down wider beside you. <coughs> and then exhale, sit the release, arms and legs out. Shavasana, give yourself a moment, surrender. Notice how it feels around the legs and hips. Through the back body, does it soften some more into the yoga mat? Is there a spreading and a releasing? And then push the heels away, stretch up the back of legs. Bend the legs up, feet hip distance parallel. Hands down on the mat beside you. Tuck your tailbone, feel the lower back flatten into the mat. And then start to roll the hips up by pushing the feet down, sweep the arms up and over, reach out long behind you and lift up through those hips and front thighs. Open them up. Any pinching in the lower back, drop the hips, tuck the tailbone. Otherwise, hold here, keep breathing. And start to feel that the heels want to turn in towards each other a little bit. And just notice what happens through the legs, the glutes, heels are trying to spin in as if they're trying to touch together. And then back to just neutral. Now feel as if the heels want to spin out away from each other and you've got a foam block between your inner thighs squeezing in. Heels pushing out, thighs squeezing in. And then soften to neutral, push straight down through the feet as if there are railway tracks and they're pushing out long away from you. Arms reaching like back like railway tracks along behind you. Breathe into the stretch, breathe into the opening, what do you feel? Now lift both heels up or toes if you prefer and roll it down, vertebra by vertebra, buttocks and arms coming down. Knees come into the chest, wrap the arms, rock the body side to side, massage across the back, mobilizing. <coughs> and then bring it back to a stillness. When you're still, squeeze your knees to the chest, <coughs> exhale fully, hold the breath out for as long as you can. Then breathing in, forehead up towards your knees. Feel the legs are trying to push away, arms hold it close. Keep breathing into the ball, roll it in. Lower the head down, hands on the mat beside you. Legs kick them up, stretch the heels up. And then wide legs exhale, inner heels up and out, stretch wide, stretch long. And then inhale, the legs up together, stretch them up. And then exhale, bend, feet onto the mat, hip distance parallel. Push down into the feet, again roll the hips up, arms up and over. Push straight down through the feet, feel they're pushing away from you long. Arms reach back behind you long. Do you feel more open in the chest? Can you breathe through your front body? Second time lifting those hips up, adjust where you need to and keep breathing. Slow the breaths in and out. <coughs> Next inhale for you, deep breath all the way up through the body, as full as you can. Pause for a moment, hold the breath in. Push the feet down, stretch the arms longer. Could the hips come any higher? Then heels or toes lift up and roll it down. Vertebra by vertebra, buttocks and arms come down. All the way down, bring the knees into the chest, wrap the arms, again rock the body, massage, mobilize. <coughs> bring it to a stillness. Once you're still, hands to each knee or shin, pull the knees down wide to the underarms. Lift the head, then reach through for the arches of the feet if you can get them, a full happy baby. Around the ankles or arms around the backs of thighs. Let the head lower down. Let the knees come down wide beside you. Flex feet to ceiling. Rock it, massage it, open and bend the legs, mobilizing how it works for you. Breathe into it wherever you can this morning. 
stillness or mobilizing, open it up to where possible. Feel where that is for you. Feet release into Supta Baddha Konasana, so soles of feet together, little toes side of feet on the mat, knees drop away and simply let the legs go heavy. You put the hands on the front of the hip bones, massage down below, there's a tendon, just notice how it feels around it. You can massage down your legs, around the glutes, through the chest, abdominal wall, whatever you feel you need to do. Tightness or soreness anywhere, notice it, feel around, what is it like? And then simply assist the knees to come up, bring them into the chest, hug them in, rock the body side to side, massage, mobilize. We're going to roll to the right, we're going to do Kapala Bhati, so if you're a bit blocked, you might need some tissues. When you're ready, coming to kneeling at the back end of your mat. If you're not easily sitting back on your buttocks, then sit on a bolster or block between your legs and buttocks, whatever you need to do, or high kneeling. As soon as you're ready, hands rest on the lower belly. Make sure your chin is tucked in and up, not your throat. Kapala body, start to strengthen the breaths, and if you know it, as soon as you're ready, active exhales. Pump the belly back to the spine, relax the inhale, active exhales as fast or as slow as you're comfortable to do. when you rest, slow the breaths in and out. If you feel any feelings at the front of the forehead, that's okay. It clears out the frontal lobes of the brain. It's a great breathing practice to do before meditation. Also helps clear the lungs, good for the abdominal wall. So when you're ready again, chin in to notch your throat. Make sure it doesn't lift. Hands on the belly, active exhales, pumping Kapalabhati. As fast or as slow as you need to do, rest when you need to. up through the hands and glide it through. Cobra up dog, sphinx if you prefer on forearms, lift your chest through. Seal your shoulders back, press tops of feet, one more breath. Exhale, lower the chest, lift both legs up, Shalambhasana. Feel the hands are trying to drag back, shoulders sealing back. Connect with the feelings into the body, breathe into it. <clears throat> We lower the legs down, arch up higher, shoulders sealed back, chest pulls through. Then downward facing dog, tuck or roll and take the buttocks up. Walk the legs out on the spot, swing the hips side to side, shoulders, neck, mobilize it. <clears throat> Open up to where you can. <clears throat> Bring it back to a stillness when you're ready. 
Balance your foundations first, hands and feet. Push into them, push away from them. Stretch your heels down as you push your feet down through the yoga mat. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. Shoulders broaden across the upper back. Lengthen the spine, push out to the buttocks and stretch long. Chin in and up, back of neck long. <clears throat> Keep breathing. <clears throat> Slow your breath in and out. Feel what it stretches for you this morning. Steady the breath into it. Any releasing occurring, any opening occurring yet? What does it feel like? down to your knees. Gentle dip of the spine looking up. Tuck the tailbone, roll the spine looking in. Keep it moving through cat and cow, inhale dipping. Chest pulling through, open up. Exhale rolling, looking in. Slow the breaths as much as you can. Slow the movements in time with your breath. Simply stay there. Once you're there, shoulders broader, chin in deeper, back of neck longer. Breathe across your upper back, open it up. Let the chin rock shoulder to shoulder, mobilize your neck. Bring the hips through shoulders side to side, mobilize your body. Side to side or circle around or figure eight, whatever works for you. Move it as much or as little as you wish to. Again, mobilize it. Try to find some releasing and some opening. If you find a spot you want to hold into it, hold into it. Try to get your releases. And when you're ready, taking the buttocks all the way back to the heels. Arms can come back beside the feet. Palms turn up. Chin tucks in and up. Shoulders relax around the legs, broadening. Or we'll stack the hands, rest the forehead if you need. <coughs> Press the shins down, full exhalation. We're rolling up, vertebra by vertebra, chin tucked all the way. Head will come up last. Continue the flow, wide arms reaching up. Hands forward onto the mat, slide them out long. Glide it through, cobra up dog. Push down, engage the body, lift it through. Lower the chest down again, lift the legs up. Hands dragging back, shoulders sealed back. Find your strength through your back body. Lower the legs down, pull the chest through, open up long. And downward facing dog, tuck or roll, take the buttocks up, stretch it out. Give yourself a moment, push back long, elongate. Breathing into the feeling, if you're noticing where it is, the changing, is it opening differently for you? Next inhale, right leg up, straight out behind you. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back. Kick the leg up, open the hip up, stretch up, twist up, open up. Knee to that right shoulder or elbow, round the back. Take the leg up again, stretch it up. Bring the knee underneath, hover to the left elbow, pause for a moment. Take the leg straight back up again. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back. Step the right foot through, left knee down. Wide arms coming up, reaching up. 
Hands onto the hips and balance up. Push away from the foundations, balancing into them. Then bring the hands onto the back of the hips, push down and forward. Elbows back, shoulders, squeeze them back and down. Open the body. Breathe into it, open up. We clasp the hands behind the back if you prefer, pull them down long, or keep the hands on the hips pushing down and forward. Stretching and opening without dropping through the core, hold the body. Reach the arms up, stretch up. Wide arms and down, step back to down dog, take the buttocks up and step it back. As soon as you're there, left leg up, stretch it back, knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back, leg goes up, low, roll the hip up, look up under that left arm, twist, knee to left shoulder or elbow, hover, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back, strengthen, leg goes up, three-legged dog, open it up. Knee underneath, hover to that right elbow, pause, shoulders above wrist, strengthen. Take the leg up, straight up, stretch it long. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back, push away, strengthen. Left foot steps through, right knee coming down. <coughs> Reach the arms up, stretch up. Hands onto the hips and find the strength on this second side balance. Push through the foundations, engaging, hips balancing, and then hands around the back of the buttocks, hips, <coughs> push forward and down. Not just dropping onto the hip though, remember those legs, keep them working. Keep the hands on the back of the hips, or maybe clasping and pulling down, pulling long. Breathe into the opening. Remember, no collapsing through the core body, hold your torso, not just dropping. reach up, stretch up, wide arms are down, step it forward, front of mat, feet hip distance all together, your choice, left hand holds right ankle, right arm up, twist, bend the left leg, straighten the right leg, pull up on the base arm, stretch the top arm, keep breathing, and then second side, right hand, left ankle, left arm up, Bend the right leg, straighten the leg, pull up, stretch up, engage, spine long. Release the arms, hold the elbows, surrender down in your forward fold. Bend the legs, ribs on thighs, as close as you can get. Then straighten and bend the legs, swing the hips side to side, swing the body around the legs, mobilise the stretch where you can. <coughs> Bring it back to a stillness. The body centers on the legs. Slow the breaths. The arms drop. Sweep wide. Come all the way up. Clasp your hands. Turn your palms up. Arch up, stretch up, keep breathing. Next exhale, bring the spine to neutral, focus the eyes, lift both heels off the mat and balance. And then exhale, the heels down, wide arms beside the feet, fold down into your forward bend. Bend those legs, ribs on thighs. Give yourself a moment, feel the body drop and surrender. Feel the release. And then pull the chest forward, extend the spine. Hands flat to the mat, step or jump out to plank. Pause for a moment in plank, push away from the floor. Seal the shoulders down, ribs lift, navel lift. Push the feet down, feel the leg muscles engage. Push the heels away. 
And then slowly lower Chaturanga. Keep pushing away from the floor as you lower towards it. Strengthening. Hover the chest off the mat. Knees down if you're tired. And then glide it through. Cobra up dog. Lift the chest through. Seal your shoulders back. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up and stretch back long. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. Centre back, elongating. <coughs> Feel the feet press into the mat. As they press down, can the heels lengthen down, back of legs lengthening, engaging. away from the hands, arms active, shoulders broad, are we balanced? Right leg goes up, straight out behind you, knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the back, right foot steps down, high lunge, push away from the foundations, reach up, come into those legs, Keep breathing. Stretch the mat, push the feet down as if you're trying to stretch the yoga mat long. Engage through them. Steady the breath. Hands come down, step it back to plank. <clears throat> push the floor away as you start to lower slowly, chaturanga. Keep it strong. Knees down if you've dropped. And then lift it through, cobra up dog, shoulders back. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Left leg goes straight up, push it out, stretch. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, push away, strengthen. Left foot steps down, wide arms and up, high lunge. Come into those legs, find your balance. Spine up, arms up. Stretch the yoga mat, push it long, use your feet. What happens is you switch on, trying to engage and stretch the mat. Exhale fully, hands down, step forward, front of mat. Left hand, right ankle, right arm up. Bend the left leg, straighten the left right, twist up, open arm. <coughs> Pull your spine long. Exhale, second side, right hand, left ankle, left arm up. Pull long. Exhale, release, hold the elbows, change the grip to your unnatural side. Surrendering to your forward fold. Legs bent, ribs on thigh. You can straighten and bend the legs, swing the hips, mobilize the body again. Get back to a stillness when you're ready. Push the feet down, are they weighted evenly? Let the arms drop. Wide arms come all the way up. Clasp the hands, turn up, arch up, stretch up, open up. Bring the spine back to neutral, then lean the arms to the right, push the hips to the left, keep breathing. And inhale, center, second side, arms left, hips right. Stretch and breathe on the right side, open it up. Inhale, center, arch up again, stretch up. Wide hands onto the hips, neutral spine. 
Virchasana, bring your right foot up immediately inside of your left leg. Find your balance point. Hands at heart, focus the eyes where you can or challenge yourself and close your eyes. Hands on the hips, bring the right knee around in front, left hand outside edge of that right knee, right hand on the small of the back or hip, rotate, look around behind your right shoulder. Hand and knee press against each other, feel the stability. Knees trying to push away to the right, the hand resists it. Turn back forward, hands on the hips, keep the right leg up, flex the foot. Slow as you can, lower that right foot down onto the yoga mat. As soon as the weight shifts into it, left foot comes up. Knee wide, for chasana. Find your balance point, hands at heart if you can. Close the eyes, look up forward or down, whatever challenges you this morning. Find your balance point, breathe into it. And the hands to the hips, <coughs> left knee in front, right hand outside edge of left, left hand on the hip or small of the back, twist and look back. Left knee is pushing wide, right hand resistant. And back forward, hands to the hips, lift that left leg. Flex the foot, engage, and slowly lower that left foot to the mat. Feet together or hip distance, your choice. Drop the hands beside you, close the eyes, be completely still. Notice after the balancing on individual legs, how does it feel standing on both feet? Do we feel stable as we close the eyes or are we a little wobbly? What does it feel like this morning? Conscious breaths, mountain pose to chastana. Some adjustments where you feel lengthening and opening. Exhale, fully open the eyes, bend the legs, hands together in front. A version of Surya Namaskar B will take it slowly. Bring the arms up, legs straighten a little bit, not a lot. Just to reach up, pause, now just push here through the feet, reach the fingertips longer. Hands to the mat, fold your body to your legs. Pause for a moment, engage a little deeper if you can. <clears throat> Push into the feet, pull the chest forward, <clears throat> extend the spine. Hands flat, step or jump out to your plank. Pause for a moment, push away from the floor, feel the body strengthen. Keep pushing away from the floor as you lower down, chaturanga. Keep it engaged, not collapsing. Lift it through, cobra up dog. Shoulders seal back, press tops of feet, engage the posture, then roll it back to down dog. Take the buttocks up, stretch back. Left heel turns in, right foot steps up, warrior one, wide arms and on. Pause, push into the feet, seal the muscles to the bottom on both legs, engaging as much as you can. Chest and shoulders squared forward, arms reaching up and looking up if possible. Now four points on each foot, make sure you're active, not collapsing the back arch or back ankle. And really work those legs, stretch them out again, push apart, strengthening the spine straight up, opening up. One more breath, reach up. We're gonna bring the arms out wide to the side, don't adjust the feet, bring the hands to prayer position, Right elbow inside edge of right knee. <coughs> Just press the arm and leg against each other for a moment. Now bring it back up, square the chest centre. Can you get left elbow outside edge of right knee without adjusting the feet? 
Work it around, notice where you can get the rotation. Keep working the legs and feet. Rotate as much as you can. Keep pressing through those feet. Now bring the hands and chest back up to centre. Take the arms up, wide arms and down. Lift the back heel, step it back to plank. Slow as you can, push away from the floor as you lower chaturanga. If you're dropping, put your knees down. <clears throat> Inhale, lift it through, cobra up dog. Pause, feet press, hands press, shoulders seal back. And then exhale to down dog. Push away, stretch long. Right heel turns in, left foot steps up, warrior one. Wide arms and up, pause and breathe. So use those legs again, push into those feet. Seal the muscles to the bone for those legs really strengthening. Square your chest and shoulder to the front edge of the mat as much as you can. Really push down through those feet. Four points on each foot, can you engage them? Spine lifting, arms reaching. I need to feel where the opening is for you. And simply take the arms out wide, open it up to warrior two, but don't adjust the feet. Then bring the hands to prayer position, left elbow inside of left knee, and just push arm and leg against each other for a moment. What does it feel like? It's breathing into it. Are you pushing down on that left foot, keeping the buttock low and long? Then bring it up to center, now twist. Can we get right elbow outside of left thigh? Try not to adjust the legs or feet. Notice as one side rotate more easily for you. Noticing are there differences? Rotate it as best you can. Try not to move the feet, adjust it around the body as best possible. And then bring it back to centre, chest up, arms up, wide arms and down. Lift the back heel up, step it back to plank. Push away from the floor as you start to lower down. Keep the shoulders back. <clears throat> Lift through cobra up dog and downward facing dog. Push away to stretch back, elongate. Shoulders broad, spine long. Take the right leg up, roll the hip up, ribs up, twist up, look up under that right underarm. Then bend that top knee, keep lifting high. Lower ribs contain so you're not dropping in your back. Bring the knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back, strengthen. Then step right foot down, left knee down. Hands inside to the front foot, toes out, knee out. Come down onto the forearms. <clears throat> Open through these hips and legs for you. Breathing into it. Pulling the chest long. Seal the shoulders back. Slow the breaths. Exhale fully, walk the hands up, inhale. Pull the toes up, hand outside of the leg. Heel digs in, buttock presses long, outer hand in Manasana. Slow the breaths. Feel where the length is for you.
Just an exhale, slowly let the front foot come down, sink in deep, round the upper back, chin in, come up onto fingertips, try to broaden. Then pull the face forward, chest up, bottom jawline, jut it forward. Bring the jawline in, round the back, tuck the chin in again. If you're trying to pull the right foot back in and the left knee forward as if they're trying to come into the middle of the mat. Right foot trying to drag in, left knee trying to drag forward. Shoulders broader, chin deeper. And then soften. Could we walk the left hand forward a little bit more, flatten it? Could the right left leg bend up behind you? Could you reach your right hand back to the foot? If the knee is sore and it doesn't like it, just turn the right toes out and come down the forearms again, inside edge. Work it where you can, opening into your stretch. Right toes can turn out, knee dropping out. Reach back for that left foot if you can. Easing that left thigh and hip forward into the stretch. Opening up hips and quads where you can. Breathe and open, lengthening. We're going to ease the back foot down. We're doing a supported side plank. Left shoulder wrist stack. Lift off the back leg. Roll both feet so they turn out to your right. Right arm up. Supported side plank. You can go full side plank. You can bend the top leg up. You can bind the toe. Open it up to where you can. Find your upper body strength. Keep lifting, engaging it. Step it all the way back around to your high lunge. Right foot forward, push away, reach up, stretch up. Wide arms and down, and we're back to our three-legged down dog. Right leg up in the air behind you. Dive the chest through the hands, knee down if you need to, support yourself. And downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, <clears throat> stretch back low. Left leg goes up. Roll the hip up, ribs up, twist up, look up under that left underarm. Bend the top knee, make sure the lower back's not collapsing. Stretch and open. Then bring the knee to the nose, shoulders above the wrist, round the upper back, push away from the floor. Left foot steps through, right knee comes down. Hands inside edge, toes out, knee out. Come down onto the forearms and find your length. Chest pulling off, shoulders sealing back. Make sure you're not hanging the head. Breathe into your stretches, <coughs> opening up. Exhale fully, walk the hands up on your inhale, pull the toes up, hand outside edge of the leg. Adha Hanavanasana, your half split. <clears throat> Make sure the knee's not locked out. The heel presses down into the mat, buttock pushes back long. Chest lifted, chin tucked, neck long.
Let the foot come flat, the knee stacks above the heel. I start to round the back up, chin in. trying to drag right knee forward, left foot back. If you're pulling them in towards the center of the mat. And then lift the head and chest up, bottom jawline, jut it forward and up. Bring it back in, tuck the chin in again, round the upper back, shoulders broad, right knee's pulling forward, left foot's pulling back. Broaden and breathe, stretch it open. <coughs> could the right hand come down flat? Then could you bend the right leg up? Could the left hand reach back for that right foot? Left toes, knee can turn out. If you know you've got a swan knee in, there's no way you're going to reach back for the foot. Go down into that first position, forearms inside edge of the leg, centering through. Trying to get this right thigh, hip forward, opening into the stretch. These hips, legs, glutes, where do we feel? Exhale fully, release it, tuck the back toes. Mm, if we come up to high lunge, mental blank, let's do it. Push away, if we come up to high lunge, having a mental blank, reach up for a moment, push away, stretch. Outside plank here, thank you, I'm looking at the screen. Right the hand under the turn, the feet out to the left, that's where we went. Thank you, side planking onto that left side. <clears throat> You can take it to where you can, open it up, whether you're bending the leg up, binding that left foot, opening up into your side plank, keep breathing. Keep the hips high, keep the strength. And then we're into the high lunge now. <laughs> Reach up, stretch up, engage those legs. And then wide arms are down, three-legged down dog. Take that left leg up in the air behind you, stretch it up. Dive the chest down, right knee down if you need. Lift through, pull the chest through. Back to down dog, take the buttocks up. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. Slow the breath, steady and calm. Lower to the knees, gentle dip of the spine, look up. Child pose, take the buttocks back to heels. Arms back beside feet or stack the hands, rest your forehead. Chin in and up, back of neck long, <clears throat> tailbone tuck it under. Broaden across the back, breathe into it, opening up. Those of you resting can stay resting for a moment. Those of you rolling up, grab the heels, roll the buttocks into the air, rest the crown of the head on the yoga mat. Getting used to this feeling of pulling against the arms. 
stretching, lengthening, or gently pushing the head down, engaging neck muscles. You might like to <coughs> lift the head, make adjustments where you need to. If you're worried about the neck, resting the head or keeping the head off the mat, whatever works. Those of you three-point head standing, hands beside the knees. Are you able to tuck the toes, lift the knees off the mat like you're in a down dog with your head on the floor? Could you walk the knees up onto the upper arms? Could you take the legs up and do a three-point headstand? Find your balance point, work with it where you can this morning. to child pose when you're ready to rest. <coughs> Press your shins down through the mat. Roll the back up. Keep the chin tucked. Vertebra by vertebra rolling up. Once you're all the way up, simply clasp the hands behind your back. Pull the clasped hands off the back. Squeeze shoulders back. Arch the chest up. Take the chin up or forward and jut it again forward. Stretch it long. Bring the chin in. Tuck the chin in to notch your throat. Stretch the back of the neck. Bring the head up to neutral. Bring the right ear down, clasp hands to the right side waist. Feel the length come down that left side, neck, shoulder, arm. Inhale, the head centers, pull the arms long. Second side, left ear down, clasped hands to the left side waist. Keep the shoulder down, ribs in, chin in. Feel us lengthening down the right side, neck, shoulder, arm. Head centers, pull the arms long again. Let the chest arch up a little. Stretch the arms longer. Squeeze the shoulder blades down the back. Then just bring it all to neutral. Let go, let the hands release. Bring the spine to neutral. And give yourself a moment. Just kneeling back in your mat. Spine long, shoulders relaxed down. Head centered. Slow the breath, steady and calm. Last exhale for you, open the eyes. Come up high kneeling, it doesn't matter which leg as long as you'll see the screen. Step one foot forward, tuck the toes off the back knee, spin it out to the wide long edge of your mat, feet forward, hands on your hips. Inhale, lift your spine. Fold down into your wide leg forward fold. Keep hands on hips. If you're rounding and hunching in the back, bend the legs a little bit more. Try to pull the front <coughs> sides and back of body long. Keep the collarbones broad. Spine long, feet pressing, keep breathing.
Press down through the feet, engage the legs, pivot from the hips, neutral spine to come all the way up to stand. Once you're there, right foot turns out, Trikonasana, arms come up, slide the left heel longer if you need. Reach to your right, leg, ankle, foot, big toe bind if you get there. Arms long, spine long, legs long and active. Foundations pressing evenly. Slow your breaths in and out. And then can we spring the top arm long, stretch it beside the ear. Circle it down, push to come up. Second side, turn the feet to your left, Trikonasana. Stretch long, stretch down, reach to where you can, leg, ankle, foot, big toe bind if you get there. Foundations are they balanced? Legs working, spine long, arms long. Neck balanced and long, keep breathing. Bring the top arm long beside the ear, stretch it. Circle it down, come up, place hands on hips and turn to your right foot as you do. Adjust the back foot around so the hips square. Now that you know the hips are square, feet wide enough to be stable, let the hands drop and just do some full shoulder rotations. Mobilize them. You can bend that front leg a little as you do, pushing into the feet. Now roll the shoulders the opposite way. Let the shoulders drop. Take the arms wide to the side. As you do, roll your thumbs down to the floor, palms turn back. Then bring the hands up to prayer position behind the back. If that's difficult, reach and hold your elbows instead. Inhale, lift your heart, extend your spine. Exhale, fold forward, bend the front leg more if you need to get the front body to touch that front right thigh. Keep the shoulders back, collarbones broad and long. Keep lengthening the spine and extension. Keep pressing through the feet. Breathing into your posture. Keep the feet working. Bring your body up parallel to the floor. Put your left hand down to the floor under the shoulder. Take your right arm up. Twist up Trikonasana. Base hand can be outside of your front foot if it's easier and keep breathing. Chest rotating, spine lengthening and extension. So keep bending that front leg more if you need. Really engaging and stretching. Legs working. Look down, bend the front leg, push to come up, hands on hips, turn all the way to the back end of the mat. Move the feet wide so you're stable, you know the hips are balanced. When you're ready, arms out, shoulder height, thumbs down, palms turn back, prayer position up behind your back. If that's not easy, hold the elbows. And then inhale, lift the chest, open up. Fold straight down onto that front leg, chest to thigh. Keep the shoulders back, collarbones broad. Foundations, do you feel the feet pressing evenly into your yoga mat? Adjust the weight on them if you need to. Feel what switches on. Where does the posture engage for you? What is the feeling in it? You breathe into these feelings. The spine extending. Lift up parallel to the floor. Right hand under the shoulder, left arm up, twisted trikonasana. Base hand outside of your front foot if you get a full twist, deepen into it. Keep the balance on your foundations. 
chest rotating, face turning up if you can, arm reaching up. Look down, push to come up. Turn all the way to the front edge of your mat and you're into your down dog. <clears throat> Slow the breath, steady and calm. Cross the legs through or swing the legs around to the side. Come through to sit best way you can. As soon as you're there, we're coming into Navasana. Sit bones balanced, hold, hold either under the legs if you need, arms long beside the ears, lift the legs to where you can. Cross the legs, put the hands on the mat, lift your buttocks off the floor. Put your buttocks down, long arms, lift the legs out to where you can. Navasana and breathe. Again, cross the legs, hands onto the mat, lift your buttocks off the floor. Buttocks down, last set, lift the legs up. Hold under the backs of the thighs, bend the legs, slide them out long. Once they're there, bend your right leg in, lift the right knee, buttock hip out to the right, as behind you as far as you can. Left hand down the left leg, right arm out behind you, right arm up and over and reach towards your left foot. Keep the right side body opening out long and stretch and breathe into your posture. It's easy for you, left elbow inside edge of left leg, right arm reaching for outer edge of foot. And exhale fully, right arm sweep it down, lift up out of it. Bring the right foot over outside edge of your left leg, square your hips again. If it's easy, left foot swings across, going into our twist, left arm wrap, right hand behind. Take it as deep as you can. Each exhale, could you squeeze the breath out of the body? Inhale, does it come up higher into the chest? Last exhale, squeeze the breath out. Open twist, turn around to your left. Right hand, right foot or arm against the leg. Rotate, look back to the left. Exhale fully, face forward. Right leg long, release the left leg long behind you. Knee bent and out as wide as you can. Lift the buttock, the hip, the knee back. Right hand, right leg, left arm behind you. Open it up, inhale and reach it long. Reaching for the right leg, ankle, foot. Open that left side lung, open it up and breathe through that side body. If it's easy, right elbow inside edge, bind the big toe, left hand to outer edge of right foot. <coughs> oh. 
And exhale, left arm sweeps down, releasing out. Bring the left foot over, outside edge of your right leg. Make sure the pelvis is balanced. Right leg can swing across to the left if it's easy. Make sure that left sit bones down. Right arm wrap, left hand behind. Twisting back, looking around behind our left shoulder. Squeeze and exhales out. Squeeze in close to that leg. Does the breath come higher up through the chest as you breathe in? <clears throat> Then <clears throat> open the twist, turn all the way around to your right, left arm against the left leg, right hand behind you to open into the twist. And then face forward, unwind, bring the legs out, give them some length, give them a rub down, give them a shake out, roll shoulders, mobilize neck, whatever part of the body you need to, massage, rub, shake out, roll out, mobilize it. When you're ready, you're going to ease your body down to the yoga mat. So when you're ready to use your core strength, roll it down, vertebra by vertebra. Give yourself a moment, surrender onto the mat. Those of you lifting for shoulder stand, hands down beside you, legs go up and hands support the back. Those of you not inverting in shoulder stand, you can take the arms wide, bend the legs up, twisting the body, knees right, face left, mobilizing into twists. Those of you wanting to do another stretch, opening somewhere differently through your body, your choice. If you're in your shoulder stand, make sure your triceps are working, lifting the body up. If you're working the twists, work with them, engaging each side or pausing on one side and lengthen more if you could. Those of you in shoulder stand, you can bring the legs over into Halasana, clasp the hands behind the back, and keep the legs straight and active, or bend them into the knees, whatever works. Those of you twisting, have you balanced each side? And everyone's ready, doing some counter pose from shoulder stand, counter pose into Matsyasana. If you've been doing twists, you could have knees to chest and lengthen lower back into the mat. You could roll forehead to knees, arms and legs resisting, push against each other. Let's see us if you did your shoulder stand. When everyone's ready, release back onto the mat, resting in Shavasana. A little bit cooler this morning, put those extra layers over the body, resting down. Close the eyes down, tuck the chin down, soften completely. Shoulders drop down. Through the back body to the buttocks and hips, surrendering down. From buttocks down, legs to heels, are we balanced? Is there softening? Let yourself have this moment. Readjust, find where you can balance, surrender and soften. Completely surrendering. And then not letting the mind wander, bring it to breath. Consciously aware, breath and body, mind connected to them at this point in time. Stay present.
And if the mind just wandered, you bring it back to breath. Keep drawing the focus back to the breath. Gradually lengthen and deepen your breaths. As those breaths start to deepen, gently rub thumbs and fingers and wiggle toes. Open close hands and flex feet back and forth. Circle joints, ankles and wrists, full rotation. opposite direction in your time. And then stretch the arms up and over when you're ready to, stretching out. And sigh and soften. Twice more your timing. Now stretch for you, bend the legs up, roll to your right, give yourself a moment there. When you're ready to come up and sit, move slowly to come up and sit. Prop the hips up if you're falling away in your lower back. If knees are higher than hips, prop the hips up higher. Thumb and first finger connect, chin tucks in and up, <clears throat> palms turn up. And give yourself a moment to sit. Consciously aware of the breath. Connecting inward into the presence of being in the moment. Again, if you notice the mind wandering forward or back into story, come back to present moment. And 
Take the breaths deeper and stronger if you need. Focus with them. Start to slow the breaths, deepen, feel where they move through your body. And next inhale, wide arms sweep up, connect the hands together and touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips as we move through life, we have kind words. And then bring the hands to the heart as we move through life. We have compassion and we have kindness. Namaste. Fold the body, stretch long, stretch forward, be still or rock it out. And roll it up, but finishing in your time.